Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me call the city council meeting to order at 7 o'clock, November 15th. Uh, I said November 19th, but the ways of me, so uh, we will be backtracking here a little bit. So I'd like to welcome you all. I uh, hope it's still pleasant outside. It was when we came in a few hours ago. So. Let me uh, start by just announcing that the press and public have been duly notified, and I'd like to ask you to stand for an invocation. Pledge of allegiance. Let us bow our heads. O oh, Heavenly Father, as we enter this season of Thanksgiving, we thank you for bringing us together tonight. We thank you for giving us our families and our friends, both near and far. We thank you for allowing us to enjoy this wonderful island. As we enter our season of Thanksgiving, we ask you you remember all those that serve us, men and women, who are not able to be home for the holidays. For it is in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Marie, can you please call the roll? Councilmember Bergwark? Here. Councilmember Vitelli? Here. Councilmember McCannon? Here. Councilmember Duffy? I'm here. Councilmember Lawless? Here. Councilmember Peeney? Here. Councilmember Stone? Present. Councilmember Thomas? Here. Mayor Cronin? Present. Administrator Tucker? Here. And Attorney Halverson? Here. Well, thank you. Glad everybody's here this evening. We're in the citizens' comment period. Uh, I'm going to make the first citizens' comment, and that's early so that I've got everybody's attention. We have the tree lighting, December 1st, front beach. Be there. Snowballs, <laughs> snowballs following the carol. And maybe we'll just have a snowball fight among council. <laughs> so uh, it's usually a wonderful time. The kids have a great time. And some of us are young at heart. Uh, we may not look it, but we are. So. Please come along. Uh, other citizens coming? Yes. Oh, did I miss the minutes? Yeah. Oh, I'm reading my notes. Okay. okay. Journal of previous meetings. <coughs> you have the minutes of October 25th, and I have a motion to approve. Amend or correct? Motion. So approved. Second. Seconded. Any changes, corrections, nothing? All in favor, please. Aye. 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 So excited about tree lands. <laughs> 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 All right, let's move on to citizens' comment. Diane Altoric has asked to speak to us. Sometimes this isn't any further towards the wall because I have trouble getting in. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Diane Altoric, 15 Ocean Park Court. And I'm very happy to be here tonight because I understand the loan initiative final approval is on the agenda and I want to thank the council for their early support when I first spoke about this in July and also um, the process that we've gone through to get to this point or that I've gone through and I want to acknowledge uh, City Administrator Linda Tucker for her guidance in the step-by-step -step process and Chief Graham isn't here tonight but I want to thank her for giving us a little corner in the medical supplies building in public safety for this. And I also want to acknowledge Councilman Vitelli for moving this uh, in all due haste through the public safety committee meetings. And then finally, um, back to you guys on council. And I hope uh, that this will pass tonight with no further delay. I really look forward, as I always do, to serving the citizens of the Isle of Ponce. So I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Beth Bello, you were over here a minute ago. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Running around. Hi, Mr. Mayor, Council, staff. I want to thank you all for all the hard work I know that you do. You're doing a great job. What a beautiful day it was today, right? Did you know that the reason why people are happy on the beach is because of the negative ions in there? 
I just learned that scientists are finding out what we've all known for a long time. But something else that's really bothering me is that if you had an opportunity, if you had a once in a lifetime, once in a century opportunity to conserve and preserve something that will go away forever and ever on our island, on our beaches, what would you have done? I think that anybody who gave it a lot of thought would say, it's my job to make certain that what we have in our natural resources, in the history of our natural resources, would be preserved and taken care of. We have an opportunity. We have the opportunity to acquire a front beach lot that has the most perfectly preserved marine forest that we have ever had for a hundred years or maybe more right here that we could have acquired, we could have acquired. If we want to do that, it is possible. It is possible to do it with grant money, donation money, with volunteer efforts, and I am willing to do anything that's possible to help do that. Please consider thinking about this a little further. Once again, thank you both for all the work you do and for listening to me. Bye. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, other speakers? I have some hands in the back here. Do you want to come forward and uh, identify yourself? Sure. I didn't see when I was supposed to sign up. So I well, thank you for well, answering. It's not necessary. Oh, good. Thanks. Um, I'm Angelica Thibos. I'm at 3006 Warnway Boulevard. And um, I kind of want to echo what Bev said. Um, I was going to be more formal, but since she started that <coughs> way, I was with my niece, and um, she is eight, and she said, Nature makes me feel so good. And I just wanted to say that when we look at postcards and things of the Isle of Palms, what we see is the beach and the live oaks. And you know, we always sort of see these aerial views. And we really um, don't usually take pictures of the houses and stuff on the beach. And um, we all love our beach. And that's why we're here. And you opened up with an invocation blessing our island. And that lot is a beautiful lot in terms of the trees that are there. I went and saw it today, and I wasn't aware of, I really don't know all the ins and outs and all of the stuff that's going on, which is kind of a blessing, I think. But I didn't know that um, it wasn't as popular as it is, and I was kind of shocked to hear that, that it's not. Um, we have an opportunity to preserve something that once it's gone, it's going to take hundreds of years to bring it back. And if you haven't seen that lot, at 3204, it's really, really, very beautiful. And uh, if we can do something to preserve that, it would really be a wonderful setting for a trail <coughs> to identify the plants. There's a lot of native plants in there. It goes on forever. There's all these dunes. I think there's three or four layers of dunes there. Once it's gone and we put a house on it, I guess, sure, we'll get some of the tax property and tax income. But what else we could get from that? in terms of um, what we could say to the world about how we feel about our island, I think it's precious. I have some, um, some experience in grant writing, and I also really love plants, so I would be happy to volunteer my time as much as I could offer. And I bet you there are other people on the island. We have a lot of talented people here that would be willing to help in any way we can to make this a pretty um, uh, widespread call for help if you all would be willing to consider doing something like this. I mean, it's uh, certainly a green year, a green decade, and we would be right on the bandwagon for something like that. So thanks for Thank you.
Others uh, would like to speak. Uh, what? Yeah. <coughs> Stillway. I live on 34 31st Avenue. I've lived here for 43 years. This is my first council meeting that I have attended. And I'm very glad to be here. You know, when I first came here, my children and I, and I'm sure many of you had the same experience. The beach at night is littered with ghost cramps. How many of you seen one recently? I haven't seen any. I see their tunnels. Just very few of them. I never see a light crack in them. This island is a very unique place in nature. I'm a scientist. I've worked for the medical university for a few years. But I have taken an interest in the local plant communities. <coughs> and I know, and other people know, just how fragile these communities are and how they only grow in certain places. You don't find them anywhere else. Take, for example, the Venus flytrap. Many of you know that the Venus flytrap. <coughs> Only grows in South Carolina and parts of North Carolina. Oregon in particular. We have similar situations right here. Although we don't pay any attention to it. The bird populations have plummeted. We don't see nearly as many birds as we used to. And it's all because of habitat loss. <coughs> this is just, this block is a small, piece of the island. It's one of the few places left. So I plead with you to take this into account and do what you think is right for future generations and the millions <coughs> of years that it took for these plants and animals to develop as they are for our enjoyment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One more. Thanks. Mayor, uh, City Council, my name is Roger Blake. I live on 32nd Avenue, and I'm a member of the Patriots Point Foundation. I'm here tonight uh, because our item is on the agenda. Uh, we made a uh, humble appeal to the ATAX Committee for a one time grant, which was approved for the master plan that we're working for Patriots Point. Uh, it was uh, subsequently approved by the uh, Ways and Means Committee, which we're grateful for. I just wanted to mention two things. Uh, not only not only are we sponsoring tour, promoting tourism, education, and patriotism, we think it's a great investment. We'll read two sentences, please, or three. The master plan is focused on the development of the Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum into a nationally prominent cultural destination. And achieving this Patriots Point has significant potential to serve as an even greater edu educational resource for people of South Carolina and as a demand generator for increased tourism resulting in economic development for the greater Charleston area. And I don't think there's any question about that. When we look at what this group, they were instrumental in the World War II Museum that's down in New Orleans, which is a site of the whole, and we want that for our Patriots Point. It's okay now. But something's got to be done. And when that thing becomes the world-class uh, venue that we want it to be, people are going to love to come out here. They don't want to spend a week down there. They want to you know, spend their time with us and then you know, visit the thing for two or three days. Um, I'll mention just one other thing. Uh, we feel that Patriots Point can significantly increase the contribution to the Charleston and South Carolina tourism economy by becoming a more significant motivator of visitation. And I've got a couple of facts about it. We only 
if we increase you know, uh, the attendance by 10 percent, the number of millions of dollars for the area and things, and y'all don't need to hear that. But I think that I, I would like to just stress that what we're talking about is an investment in tourism, education, and patriotism. And you know, when you look at what's happening in the rest of the country, aren't we proud that we live in South Carolina where we appreciate values and, and veterans and things like that? So I'm hoping that you'll let your conscience be your guide and uh, when this vote comes. And, uh, it's a one-time thing. You will not be disappointed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other comments? None heard? All right, we'll move on to reports from standing committee. I'll give you the Ways and Means Committee report, which is not even ink. Yes. <laughs> I can report that the uh, through four months of the year, the city is in excellent uh, financial shape. Our uh, revenues are tracking uh, slightly ahead of prior years. Uh, and it's not material yet to receive some property taxes, etc. Uh, our expenditures, however, instead of being at 33%, uh, which would be our target, being at four months into the year, we're trending at 27% on the budget on our general fund expenditures, and that's all good. Uh, our hospitality-related uh, taxes and income uh, has taken a uh, continues uh, upward trend, which is the uh, increase in hospitality tax from the uh, food and beverage industry on the island over the prior years. Uh, our state accommodations tax uh, exceeded all prior years by, well, we received the first quarter check, which was $420,000, which is more than half of what we received last year, and that was just one quarter's income. Uh, but that frankly is 22% uh, over prior year, but partly because there was an error in the Department of Revenue in what we received last year, and they have admitted that they've made an error and will rectify that with the check coming forward uh, in what they call it the December quarter. We'll, we'll receive the check in January. So uh, that's all very positive news uh, from the state. I'd like to thank our treasurer and our administrator for bird dogging that thing for many months until we got the Department of Revenue to uh, admit mind you, that they had made an error and uh, the monies would be flowing in our direction uh, accordingly. Municipal accommodations tax was again ahead of prior months. Um, it, is, it is still solid. So our tourism related funds are on our head of budget in all aspects. So, uh, that was the report from our treasurer and uh, our other project statuses there was no material change uh, and that we'll, we'll talk about some of those projects here in just a moment as we get through the other items um, i'll make a motion how coming out of ways and means i'll make a motion to award a contract for carolina waste industries in the amount of 40 there's a typo in the uh, our bill, is it? it's not four cents 40, it should be 47 cents oh, sorry. <laughs> 47 cents per cubic uh, yard for commercial waste hauling. I'll make that a form of motion. Second. second. Motion and second. This is a uh, bid process. Uh, we received three bids for the commercial waste hauling. Uh, Carolina uh, is our current provider, and their bid this time is significantly less than our current uh, contract with them, so we're going to receive the budget, uh, uh, elements of the budget to, to the good. So this is all all good. So any comments on this? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Motion <coughs> carries. Thank you. We're awarding a three-year service contract to T2 Systems. This is the amount of $21,510. For this is for the handheld parking devices. This is the system support for those parking devices. Uh, we require this is a <coughs> this is a three-year contract. But this is service agreement. Any, I'll make that as a motion. Second. Second. Any discussion on that? None heard. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The word of contract to Martel Electronics in the amount of $13,575.50. This is a state contract. This is for the four digital in-car video cameras, which were included in our budget. I'll make that as a motion. Second. Motion seconded. Any discussion? We'll have one more wave of these uh, digital 
and our conversions, and then we'll be out of the VHS business and our lease activities. That's not right. Good. Uh, any, any discussion? None? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? None heard. Carrying on. Uh, word of the sole source, source contract to Coastal Science and Engineering. This is for beach monitoring for three years, 2012 through 2014, in the amount of $160,702. I'll make that as a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and seconded. This is for the monitoring of the entire beach <coughs> from one end of the island to the other. They do an annual beach monitoring, give us uh, all sorts of graphics, etc., and show us what's changing in the beach, uh, not only in the beach profile that you see, but out into the surf, uh, probably as much as a quarter mile. So we know what's happening on subsurface so that we can take action in the event there is some changes uh, moving in our direction. So it's worked well thus far, and this is a three year commitment. So, any further discussion? Not heard. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Word again of sole source to Coastal Science and Engineering. This is for the engineering design and construction of the management and management of the Shoal Management Project. This is in the prior erosion zone, 53rd through uh, uh, Luis Inlet. This is for uh, the amount of $260,499, of which $141,201 is considered contingency, contingent on environmental monitoring requirements if and when the Corps of Engineers provides us with a permit. So I'll make the motion to award $260,499 to Coastal Science and Engineering. Second. 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 Uh, we did hear ways and means from our uh, engineers that the Corps is drafting the permit, the final permit we need for this, and that the environmental monitoring will not be needed but we remain vigilant and we'll wait till we see the actual signed permit before we uh, celebrate that fact, uh, because that will be an expensive uh, proposition, as you can see, by the $141,000. So, uh, hopefully we can uh, ex execute this uh, uh, with the permit shortly. So, any further discussion? None heard, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard, motion carried. Moving on to item six, approval increase the dredging project to $646,165 with the additional funding not included in the budget to come from the unreserved marina fund, uh, which currently has a balance administrative funding to it of $1,989,500 as we closed the last fiscal year. Uh, okay, I'll make that as a motion. I have a second. Second. Motion and seconded. This is the dredging project that has, uh, instead of doing everything in two years, we're going to do it all in one year. Increases the cost, plus we're increasing the depth of 12-foot dredging and going around the corner so that we do part of the intercoastal area there uh, towards the wave runner activity. So uh, that's where we are. And hopefully we'll be bidding that uh, here shortly. Uh, the bids are outstanding. So uh, motion seconded. Any, any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Thank you very much. Item seven. This is the approval of fifteen thousand dollars from our state aid tax funds for the Patriots Point Naval and Marine Maritime Museum Foundation, a study which we just heard about uh, here moments ago, and we talked about previously at aid tax. I'll make that in the form of a motion. Second. Motion and seconded. Um, as since we met the last time, you have received a communication from Matt Brudet as far as. Uh, as the managing director of the Patriots Point uh, facility and his strong support for the foundation's efforts in this regard and how it's going to benefit uh, both, uh, both everything and, as well as the surrounding communities including the Isle of Palms as it goes forward. So, motion and seconded. Discussion? I've heard all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. One no. Thank you very much. Motion carries. Uh, concluding the Ways and Means meeting, we did discuss, there was a motion made uh, from Councilman Loftus to uh, terminate our activities on 3206 Palm Boulevard based on the feedback from the citizens on the island uh, over the last month or a couple of months, uh, and that it was 
not in the majority interest uh, of the island for us to continue pursuing this uh, as a Greenbelt initiative. It's a heartfelt uh, decision on the part of council and, and uh, taking it the ways it means. Uh, and so I'm going to make it as a form of a motion that, uh, that we again take a vote that uh, the Greenbelt initiative using 3206 Pond Boulevard for our Greenbelt uh, project is uh, we terminate our initiatives and proceed on. So I'll make that as a motion, I can motion and second. Any further discussion on this? Uh, we discussed it at length, but Sandy? I, I do feel that there's a passion in the community that, that's not been particularly outspoken and that the, those of you that have spoken for this, if you could get some other folks involved and help counsel us understand the desire that this may not be dead on the on arrival at this time, but uh, I am going to vote against it because of the way that uh, the people have, have sounded off. I know vast majority against our spending tax dollars on this. I'm going to vote for it. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> against the purchase. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, Mr. Mayor. You know, I. Uh, <laughs> Along with Sandy, I'm gonna I'm gonna vote to uh, not go forward with this. As I was campaigning, the residents clearly didn't want this uh, project. That's what I heard from. Personally, I think it's the right thing to do, but I was put in this chair to represent all the residents of the island, and most of the ones I talked to were not in favor of this. So I would say to those of you that are passionate about this, you need to get organized. You need to get your word out there. You can do a petition drive. That's how I ended up in this chair, was a petition drive to stop many hotels that was signed by 850 people. It ended up putting me on city council, a place I'm now leaving. Um, but I would just, if you're passionate about this issue, I'd urge you to get organized. Um, show that there is community support for this, and if there is, I'm confident that council will listen to you. This group of people, and I'm sure the people coming on will, will listen to their citizens if that's what they want. So, what I, I regret to say that I am I am going to vote for this motion. Okay, Brian. Uh, I would like to, to remind council that whenever the Green Belt Initiative was first uh, passed in the county, uh, over 58 percent of island residents did vote for it. Um, yeah, there was uh, this last election, we did have a lot of communication from, from residents that they didn't particularly care for it. However, I don't think that this election was a, a referendum on that uh, green belt. And I do believe personally that as council members, we do have a responsibility to look forward to, uh, to what the future of this island is gonna be when we're all long gone. And <coughs> That is why I'm going to be voting against it, because I do think that this lot is a piece of maritime forest that we won't get back, not in our lifetimes. Um, and I don't know how many lifetimes it will be, but I do think that it is, it is something that uh, should be preserved. And I think as council members, we have uh, a responsibility to posterity. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments? Oh, okay. <coughs> Thank you, Excuse me. As part of this, um, Councilman Duffy brought up the Green Belt, folks supported it. They supported it on a third attempt. It took two tries to try to get this to pass that sales tax through. It was the third time that they finally were able to get it through by a small margin. Um, and uh, that's just for the record. And, um, okay. Thank you. Um, I basically voted for it the first time when it came around. You know, direct ways and means, I voted to basically shelve it. I, I think it's going to have to come from the citizens because uh, if the support is not there. Frankly, the 474000 isn't even close. And even with the grants, it wasn't close. So if there's no groundswell of support with monies coming from whatever private entity, it's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, Mark. Every, everyone else in the box, I guess I, I, I will too. Uh, I think it's a, it's a beautiful lot. I think we've got a lot of good information on what's out there. I also uh, vote 
voted to terminate this in ways and means committee meeting. Uh, again, a beautiful lot. I think if we can get a groundswell of support out there in the community, um, that we would, would indeed take another look at it. But right now, it's, uh, there's a lot of negativity out there. All right, no other comments? All in favor of the motion, please say aye. Uh, all opposed? No. <coughs> one no. Well, it's, it's not a good day, but we're moving on. Um, I'd like to move to the Public Safety Committee report, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Public Safety Committee met Thursday, November the 10th. As one of our first orders of business, we moved to recommend approval for the medical equipment load pulling closet to city council. Uh, Diane was here earlier and, and spoke on that. I'm sorry she had to leave, but uh, we would like that. You've got, you've got copies of the agreements and all in your packets. I would like to uh, move that we recommend the medical equipment loan closet to city council. The other thing along with that, along with the agreement, is that a report will be generated once a quarter beginning in April to, uh, to let us know how it's working out. We will monitor closely the Public Safety Committee. Second. Okay. Motion seconded. Good. Uh, any discussion? Well, I'm glad you're, you're going to monitor it because we need to know if it's a highly utilized facility or if it's, if it's underutilized. Uh, we need to take some action there. Good. Any other comments? I'm going to break some legs. So let's go. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to contribute. I have crutches. I have walkers. I have all sorts of stuff. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is there a mouse around here? <laughs> you leave one off of there. I don't know. All right. We haven't made seating assignments for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Troops are getting restless. All right. You're making a motion? Yes, I am. You have that? Yes. We have a second? Yes. 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 All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. All right, excellent. Thank you. We, I know, we have a car. We have a closet now. <laughs> we also uh, received an update on off season parking in Front Beach from Chief McCann. He will continue to monitor that throughout this off season. Under new business, we discussed mutual aid agreements between the Isle Palms and Sullivan's Island and Mount Pleasant Police Departments. That is something that uh, is still undergoing legal review and expect to bring that back to us. Also discussed a proposed Signal 30 award. Uh, this uh, would be for Bill Pennington of Salem, South Carolina. Um, in case you don't know, at the tennis center last month, a uh, person went in cardiac, cardiac dress, the rest. <laughs> and Bill took the AED and basically saved this person's life. But I would also like to add that giving him excellent support and, and constant communications with the dispatch was none other than our American right. right. So I, I would like to make a motion that we present Bill Pennington with the signal. Second. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do have, actually I do have something to say. The uh, Isle of House personnel, first responders, uh, showed up and were extremely attentive to the, to the patient, victim, whatever you want to call it. I was very proud of their activities, and I hope all the citizens here who have an opportunity to, uh, to see our personnel in action have the same feeling uh, I did. They were, they were calming to the individual. By the time they got there, uh, the defibrillator had worked, which <coughs> was, frankly, it's amazing. I mean, somebody wasn't breathing, and you shock him, and so when he's back, and about two minutes later, he's actually talking to you. Um, but they were very calming and, and uh, very professional, and uh, I couldn't have been prouder. So. Thank you. 
Are we ready? Any other discussion? All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Moving on. Um, we awarded some contracts in excess of $10,000. We took care of those in the Ways and Means Committee portion of this meeting. I'll don't move on to the highlights of the departmental reports. Um, for the fire department, two small children were separated from their grandparents on October 8th. Every name of the day, grandchildren went out of the unit. They were noticed by the newspaper carrier early in the morning in the parking lot, which contacted the proper authorities. Everything was found, everything was fine. Uh, but th thanks to all involved in that. The fire department responded to 65 calls in October, 33 of which were EMS calls. In October, 57 fire inspections were completed. Uh, I would note that boat one has been taken out of service and the <coughs> chief is trying to collect the delivery on the uh, new boat. Uh, as reported last month, foundation for the radio tower on 41st Avenue was poured and the good news uh, is I hope that because the tower's up. The tower's up. <laughs> it's very nice. It's the tower's up. The census. No, I know. Stay with us. Well, some folks want to get down to the marina to see that it's up. Cement right. <laughs> and on, also the good news is that Charleston County Council approved $7 million for phase three of the radio <laughs> system upgrades, which will uh, provide better communication for the entire county. Uh, we'll move on to the police report. Seven mailboxes were vandalized. No su suspects had, had been identified. Um, Break-ins to vehicles have continued, and the department issued a public service announcement for residents and big visitors to be sure to secure your vehicles. We're coming up in the holiday season, so it's very important that you lock your car. It's in your front yard, when you run into the house, lock your car. We've had more break-ins. Uh, for the month of October, telecommunicators received 3,586 calls. There were 200 79 traffic stops in October, of which 69 folks received tickets. We had 12 arrests last month, and we had two officers complete the 12-week course at the academy, and one officer who was a pre an officer previously somewhere else had completed the shortened version. Uh, once we get these three folks in their infield training, would be back on the complement and police force. <clears throat> and there were 16 noise complaints filed. Uh, under miscellaneous business, uh, thanks for all involved in making this year's fire prevention parade great a success. And our next meeting will be January 12th. Thank you. Any questions for public safety? We have one action um, remaining that uh -oh. needs to occur, and that's the um, the uh, approval I'm of sorry. the MS Challenge Walk I'm sorry. I, I, And I purposely didn't go, go over that. The, um, the MS Challenge Walk was held last year on the island as kind of a trial. We said we'll like to see and see what the impact it has on the island. Very, very low impact on the island. Unless you happen to be right there where the folks were walking, they came out of Wild Dunes, walked down Waterway, and ran. You didn't notice them. So we are recommending that uh, the 2012 walk be approved, and that would be Sunday, March 4th. Okay. We have a motion to approve the second MF walk on March 4th. Motion seconded. Any discussion further? None heard. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None heard. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good. Let's move on to public works, please. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Public works met on uh, Wednesday, November 2nd at 3 p.m. And um, <clears throat> Director Pitts reported that our garbage collections were up for the month of October, second straight month. Uh, we may be able to map that to our 
state accommodations taxes that we received. <laughs> but there's a reason for that increase in garbage. Um, we moved on to um, discuss that uh, the county has actually implemented its uh, yard debris um, ordinances and they have officially gone to, to paper. And we as an island have <coughs> did that many months ago. So we are already in compliance with the county and we'd just like to remind all the residents that uh, yard debris either goes into a, a trash can that uh, our garbage man can, can put into the, the truck or into paper bags moving forward. We went on to old business and discussed our drainage project. I'd like to inform all the residents that the county switched out the, the projects and decided to start our, our Loudon Street drainage project first and in the middle of that and we're doing that in concert with the Water and Sewer Commission because they were already doing work in that particular area. And we will be starting the uh, Sparrow Drive project at the beginning of, of December. And the, the last project that we uh, had approved for a quick fix over on 21st Avenue has already taken place and is completed. Um, we also discussed uh, as we did earlier tonight in, uh, in Ways and Means, uh, what we're going to do with uh, the rest of the funding from our uh, East End Drainage Project 5030-57 and until we close that out and meet with uh, the county. Uh, I think the county has plans on extending that uh, as a project into a, a phase two approach to move into the, uh, the next basin and we will have to start doing the engineering work uh, on that in the near future. We already discussed uh, the uh, Carolina waste hauling thing. No need to go further on that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for uh, Public Works. The next meeting will be on Wednesday, January 4th at 4 p.m. And if I may take a, a moment here just uh, to, to thank everybody here on council, to thank all the, the residents there for allowing me the opportunity to serve the last four years. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Michael. A question for um, the Chair. Um, what, have we received a formal schedule from Charleston County as far as moving, uh, moving it out into a single stream recycling? Uh, we have not received anything from uh, my perspective. Linda, did you, did you get anything? Well, we did get a communication from them. We inquired about whether or not Council's action to expedite and speed up um, our consideration made a difference in their scheduling and they indicated that we would be in the next wave um, that they that they're going to do so it did make a difference um, taking that action and encouraging them to include the aisle in the single stream recycling as to a specific date we were not given a specific date just a time frame of the next wave of implementation but it's worth uh, in the future in public works putting out on the agenda as a business to deal with because it's near <coughs> you can worry about the distribution of the trash cans and phone the citizens how it's going to work etc etc actually the trash cans are going to recycle it it's, uh, it's going to be a big difference you can use the <coughs> food things for the rest of it. <laughs> okay uh while we're on public works i only have one other comment and and uh as everybody knows there's a lot of paving done on the roads on the island in the last couple of months we did have one complaint from a citizen dealing with some work that was done in the Wildwood area. Uh, the administrators put in touch with the county personnel responsible for that. Uh, they were out here, I believe if I recall, they were out here last week, did an assessment, found some deficiencies, had crews uh, slated to come out, uh, and then they were, the county the supervision was coming back quite a bit today, or, or yesterday, sometime this week. To make sure that the work had been done to the satisfaction of all, and they were keeping the citizen that had complained and informed. So uh, I thought that was a good response on their part. The work has not been done yet. I checked it. Oh, it has not been done. Okay. Um, before I came here. It can't be because of rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll make sure, and I know the citizen's going to make sure that that work gets done as well. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, hopefully that's the only hiccup in the uh, five miles of paving. So thank you. Okay, moving on from 
Public Works Recreation Committee, please. Uh, the Rec Committee met on November 2nd, 4 o'clock, and uh, Norma Jean Page, the director, gave us a report on, of course, all the activities that are ongoing uh, all times of the year at the Rec Center. Um, things of note, uh, of course, we have performances of Catholic school girls on Wednesday through Saturday, November 16th through 19th. $5 for tickets. Children under six are free, and I've been told there are tickets available. Um, the teenagers, of course, always active, and it's interesting to note that their uh, November meeting will be a turkey shoot. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so make sure you don't want to miss that. Um, Who checks the right side? <laughs> okay, and as you already jumped on my uh, Christmas tree lighting, uh, Thursday, December 2nd, 6 o'clock, uh, there's rumor that the mayor will be dressed as Santa, but I don't know that for sure. And um, we have a... December 1st, you said 2nd. Oh, 2nd, I think. Well, it's, it's going to be Thursday the 1st. That's right, that's right. right. Okay, all right, let the so, record show. Let the record show, I'm correct. Um, <clears throat> On December 14th, we have the uh, Santa's Cookie Workshop, 4 to 6. Um, Isle of Ponds Rec Department is anticipating 85 children to register for that event. They get to decorate cookies uh, with unlimited supplies of ice and chocolate candy. Um, interesting, uh, a gentleman, Sean Griffin, uh, who lives at 19 Ocean Point Drive, uh, made a presentation to the Rec Committee. He expressed the opinion that the sport of volleyball is growing in popularity in the country and is underserved on the island presently. He would like to see um, he would like to see sand volleyball courts on our rec grounds. Um, the cost we suggested to him in this tight budget year is probably prohibitive right now. But um, the thought of going forward with even a grass court it is interesting that we have this wonderful rec center and no volleyball standards. Um, he uh, would like to see um, you know two or three. He's even willing to make a donation of his personal funds of $1,000 to get the project going and he's looking for grants. So this is something Norm Jean is looking for for the capital budget for next year to see if this is a direction we might want to go. And I think, well, it is. There's no place for kids to play volleyball except the windjammer. We all love the windjammer, but perhaps nine and ten-year-old girls at the windjammer is not <laughs> the one on the agenda. So, um, Again, the Christmas tree lighting, December 1st at 6 p.m. Catholic School Girls, Wednesday through to Saturday um, at the Rec Center. And uh, our next meeting is January 4th at 5 p.m. Very good. Thank you. Anything for the Rec? Good job. Personnel Committee, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Personnel Committee met on Wednesday, November 9th at 545. Present were uh, Council Members Patelli, Eating, and Chair Thomas, and City Administrator Tucker. Assistant to the Administrator Zubin and City Clerk Copeland. The uh, 2012 floating holiday will be Monday, December 24th, 2012. We move quickly to consider a consideration of the appointments to the boards and commissions. Uh, we have one problem with the election coming along. We had uh, two seats that have become vacant. Uh, Jimmy Carroll from Lodging and Jimmy Ward from Cultural. And Councilman Penny moved that we reopen the application process for hospitality and lodging seats uh, on the A Tax Committee with the um, applications due by 5 p.m. Monday, November 21st. An advertisement will be placed in the local news and on the city's website, as well as sending out uh, a newsletter. The state has specific requirements, so people that serve on those, in those areas have to have experience in those areas, so that's what makes it kind of difficult. Um, the committee will be meeting again at 5.45 Monday, November 28th to review, review all the applications and select the proposed uh, appointees. Um, our next ed, which then will be presented at the December uh, Council meeting. December 6th. Right. December 6th. And uh, the safety winners for October are uh, General Government Marie Copeland. Congratulations. <laughs> we worked hard for that. <laughs> uh, the police department, Fran Sinkler. Fire department, Stephen Goodwin. And public works, Rob Brand. Thank you very much. A motion for setting the floating holiday. Aha, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so moved. We have second. a second. Do we have a motion and a second to uh, establish 2012 oh, the holiday, holiday for December 24th? 2012 as reported. Uh, 
Any discussion? <laughs> <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion. No. No. Not against. Oh, the carriage unanimously. Very nice. Thank you. Seems like a long ways off, actually. But. All right. Moving on. Real property committee, please. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Real Property met on November 2nd at 8.30 a.m. All members were present for the meeting. Uh, we had already covered some of the big ticket items in Ways and Means as far as um, $160,000 for uh, beach monitoring and also uh, for a show management of $277,000. Uh, can the committee move, move forward that and vote it in unanimously in our favor? Uh, update on dredging. Um, the permit is in the final stages. They were just waiting for that, and um, the estimated budget for that is going to be approximately three hundred and forty thousand dollars. We won't know until the actual get approval and then the bids go out for that. And with that money will come out of the Marina Reserve Fund, which is a healthy balance of over a million dollars at this point. Um, last uh, was the. Uh, Old building department, 1301 Palm Boulevard. Um, the fiber optics have been removed. We are still waiting for the electrical work to be removed. We've actually gotten that done. It is done. Mm -hmm. oh. That's the All right. So, we need people with the sledgehammers to show up next Tuesday <laughs> at <laughs> um, the Next step would be demolition and preparing the property to use for other uses of the parking. Um, Next meeting for a real property is set for January 6th at 8.30 a.m. Very good. Any questions on real property? Moving on. Thank you very much. Uh, you have... Uh, we do have a special... Okay. Lynn is reminding me. We do have a special meeting um, in early December prior to the, the 6th council meeting. The second. Uh, where we're going to review the bids for the dredging project so that we can make a recommendation to yes. council. Uh, and that meeting date is the 2nd of December. 2nd, Friday the 2nd of April. Okay, so hopefully we'll have the bid results and the bid results have been properly uh, reviewed by our engineers and we have a recommendation uh, so that we can see it at the uh, Real Property Committee and the Real Property Committee can then report that back to the council on the 6th. Very good. Thank you. Uh, no reports from standing committees. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, no bills in possession. Uh, under miscellaneous business, I just I would like to thank Brian and Ralph for their time uh, here with us. It's, it's been uh, service well received by the citizens of the island. Uh, I've enjoyed the time. It's been strenuous on all of us at times, uh, but beneficial to the citizen of the island, and, uh, and the island is well served for having had you here. Um, I wish you well as you go forward in your future, and uh, don't forget where we are. <laughs> you know what we do, uh, so please uh, feel free to uh, interact with all of us. Uh, we expect you to be local in the community and uh, come back and see us. So I would like to thank you on behalf of my office. And <laughs> thank you again. I, I turn you back to your families to, <laughs> to have some time with them and uh, reduce the paper supply, the scrap paper supply in the house. Look how great kids here I come. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> thank you again. Okay, no other mission? Items to be brought before council. Motion to adjourn. Second moved. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all in favor, please say aye. 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 We're out of here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.